Ever since man discovered crude oil and its endless potential, we have enriched our lives with an infinite amount of products, ranging from paint, synthetic rubbers and plastics, to medicine, fibres and fuels. Imagine we could maintain our lifestyle while using renewable and environmentally friendly resources instead, providing us with green materials, green energy and green medicine. Such a resource is biomass. For almost any building block for consumer goods, biomass is an affordable, reliable and clean alternative resource. We are depleting at a very fast rate our natural resources and polluting them. And if we continue along that path, uh, those resources will become so scarce uh, that prices will go up and up uh, as is already happening. If you calculate where we will be in 2050, we will have 9 billion people living on this earth. And the amount of resources we need on one earth is not enough. We have calculated that then by then we will need three globes to actually feed and have the same quality of living. So in order you know, to maintain our quality of life, we will have to adapt our economy and our lifestyles. For this, we need a gradual transition from a fossil-based society to a biomass-based society. So we have to find different ways of doing uh, our chemistry. Such a bio-based economy is starting to become reality. Chemists in the Dutch research programme Catch Bio are unravelling the huge potential of biomass and they use chemocatalysis as their key technology. The technological toolbox for converting biomass into value-added products consists of chemocatalysis, fermentation, gasification, thermochemistry and algae. Chemocatalysis has already proven to be a very versatile technology. It is the process in which one molecule transforms into different targeted molecules by means of a catalyst. How does it work? We start with a non-edible biomass feedstock. For instance, sugar beet pulp, maize stalks, wood waste and energy crops like miscanthus. All natural resources we don't need for our daily food consumption. These resources are treated in such a way that they break down into separate molecules, which in turn can be further treated and converted into building blocks for our enormous variety of daily consumer goods. In every step in this process, chemocatalysis is a crucial factor. A catalyst provides an alternative reaction pathway to the desired product, increases the reaction rate, while at the same time consuming less energy, and determines what products are formed. And because the catalyst itself is regenerated, it can be reused over and over again. By using chemocatalysis, chemists create building blocks for fuels and materials, which are comparable to the building blocks created by refining fossil resources. This is called dropping greenification, enabling the industry to rely as much as possible on its existing infrastructure. So while using biomass as a renewable resource, production can take place against an economically viable market price. To supply the chemicals and materials sector with all the carbon resources it needs to produce our everyday products, biomass is the only alternative to fossil resources. If you do it right, you can produce on the, on the same amount of land, you can produce both food and resources for chemistry. So you make more efficient use of the land than we currently do. In a bio-based society, the CO2 level in the atmosphere stays at a fair balance. Before the biomass is turned into feedstock for the chemical industry, it takes its share of carbon dioxide in order to grow as plants. In the production process, only a part of this CO2 is released into the environment. Plants can recirculate the CO2, and that is a sustainable way to produce chemicals and fuels. We have to move from a linear organisation of production processes to a so-called circular uh, approach. A circular or bio-based approach is what chemists in Catch Bio are working on. 
The more knowledge they develop, the faster and cheaper the desired molecules can be made using biomass as feedstock and the right chemocatalyst as key. This is what the public-private consortium of Catch Bio is all about. The Netherlands has focused a lot of his research in the valorization of biomass. Catch Bio is a, uh, a very important program to develop the knowledge that is needed uh, in this bio-based economy. We're actively engaging Catch Bio to make sure that the R&D that takes place at Catch Bio fits well with what happens in Avantium. But we really can get access to, to capabilities that we don't have ourselves and that is what Catch Bio brings to, uh, to the company. Both small and medium-shaped enterprises and multinationals are committed to bringing the bio-based economy a step closer. We're doing a lot. So we're developing technologies to turn biomass, so the agricultural waste products, into, uh, into renewable resources for chemistries. Catch Bio partner Avantium has signed joint develop agreements with the Coca-Cola company and with Danone for the development of 100% bio-based bottles. What uh, the Coca-Cola company and Danone are looking for is really to shift in the coming 10 years um, from these petroleum-based products to 100% um, to renewable products. Industry as well as science requires chemists who have what it takes to build the bio-based economy. To be in PhD in Catch Bio gives me everything I need to pursue a career in catalytical biomass conversion. The Dutch chemocatalysis community plays a huge role worldwide, so I'm happy to be a part of this. And the most interesting part of my project is uh, that this is a network of both science and industry. Catch Bio is a program where we train, educate people, the new generation scientists, which can be taken up by industry where they can further bring this kind of technology and really try to implement it in society. For me there is no doubt that the bio-based economy is the future um, for, for this country and uh, I think it will provide tremendous opportunity for existing players but also really for new companies that are emerging in this area. We are making the future right here, right now within Catch Bio.